Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Celasta. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy to have you here with me as we play with a team that we made over here. And now for me to always remember that Siobhan is pronounced Siobhan and not whatever other thing I th might think that her name is. <laughs> so let's start. Let's do it. Oh, adjust the brightness. No, no brightness. It's. It, I don't know what screen this is being shown on. What do you think, brightness game? Go away. Oh man, the art and the soundtrack. It's, it's all great. The soundtrack really reminds me of the soundtrack for, for Baldur's Gate 1, which is great. Also, Baldur's Gate 2 is pretty awesome, but Bal I, think, I think I prefer Baldur's Gate 1 better. Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans, either. Then, the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident, or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalan, they called it, and twisted the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there. In search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Well, that's why we made fighting characters. It is the year 1024 after the Cataclysm. New states have arisen around the Badlands and crave its treasures. A newly discovered road offers a safer route into the ruined heart of the Empire from the Principality of Masgarth, upsetting the balance of power. The Legacy Council is formed to ensure that this knowledge is shared. It issues a call for agents to explore the Badlands in its name. Adventurers flock to Kaer Kiflin, the Principality's capital and the home of the Council. Four strangers meet in the Grave Keep's cask, close to the Council chambers. This beer tastes like donkey piss. Not that I'm complaining. Is this the place for the Legacy Council job? Hope I'm not too late. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. Sit, relax. Perhaps you'd enjoy a pint of this obnoxious ale. If you're here for the Council job, get in line. Though if this Lord Karen doesn't show up soon, I may go looking for him. Another round, barkeeper. Four of your finest flagons of donkey piss, please. Looks like you've been waiting here a while. Indeed. You mentioned something about some trouble. Would you care to elaborate? Well, I was making my way here when three bandits leapt from the bushes with crossbows. They dragged me off to some decrepit prison and tossed me in a filthy cell that smelled of rat piss. Don't know what was holding the place up. Okay, escape the bandits' prison. If I press tab, oh no, not tabs. Character select basement, thank you. I know, I, I figure. WSD moves the camera, that's the real implication. And pressing shift. Toggle the horizontal plane on and off for movement destination. Wait, what? Interesting. If I press alt, if I press tab. Tab centers the, the screen, okay. What I'm interested in is uh, if I could, uh, if I could um, highlight items. But I think we're good. Let's look at our inventory here. We are perfectly unequipped. That said, I do have spells and I have guiding bolt. That is 46. Launch a radiant attack against that enemy and make them easy to hit. That's not what it is. Uh, spare the dying, healing. Yeah, she didn't get inflict wounds though. She gets that for free. I yeah, well, that's that's good then. Oh, and look at that. The game is paused while we're in this mode. I like that. I like that. Let's see. Journal. 
Mm hmm. Quest log. I understand. So, do I understand? We got the quest log, adventurer's log, bestiary, factions. Look at all this stuff. It's kind of tiny to read, though, especially on a YouTube video. But uh, I'm playing this at 1080p, by the way, so it isn't a, in incredibly absurd, absurd uh, resolution, but it is kind of tiny text. Okay, let's move on. Do I activate and deactivate cautious mode? Oh, that's really slow. Um, the, oh, you're basically rolling your stealth, most likely. Oh. Conversation recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, if you tell your DM, usually stealth works like that. DMs can can have different different attitudes towards stealth, but usually you just have to tell the DM, "I'm doing this this um, cautiously," and then they just make you roll your stealth. To crawl through a hole, click the other side. You can get a better view of the hole by rotating your camera, yeah, and center on character, which is tab. I found that out already. What I'm interested in is the right click. Um, oh, that's the hole. Yes, uh, the right click being a, um, a camera rotate rather than a a party positioning button. Hmm. Because you see, I'm I'm trying to highlight the the doors or anything. Highlighting. Thank you. Alt. Really. Oh. I see. Well, I don't think we're gonna get too many enemies. At least not at the beginning, because this is basically the tutorial. And what do we have? A torch. Guess what? Don't light the torch, because it stinks. Moving on, then. We have cover. If I... am not mistaken, the way you take cover in, in Dungeons & Dragons is actually by doing an action. I think? I'm not sure. Because you can do it automatically with the halflings, for example. Which is good, because she's an halfling. Uh, interactive elements. Thank you. Right there. What's she actually doing? Did she just kick that stone? She did, didn't she? Can you go over there? She's not rolling acrobatics or anything. Escape the bandits' is prison. Yeah, but that doesn't go anywhere. This, wait, oh, this does go somewhere. Oh, maybe that's what shift is for. Oh, you can see the, oh, no, 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 that's the, for the scroll wheel to work like that. Shift scroll wheel is what it does. Oh, I like that. I like that. What else do we have? It's real time as well, which is lovely, instead of being compressed time. Climbing and jumping. Now, this is interesting because I, I, it's not intuitive. Depending on the character's strength and proficiency with athletics, you, because athletics is a, a strength-based skill, you can jump and climb between two and five cells. You can always jump over two cells, drop down three cells, and climb up one cell, or climb up easy surfaces like ladders or ropes without any trouble. Jump distance, depends on the character. Character below 15 and no proficiency in athletics cannot jump far enough to reach the chest. Um, well, that kind of is a bummer because I don't think I... Uh, no, how do I see my character screen? I don't see my character screen. Maybe it's just the inventory. Yeah. Oh, I do have... Yeah, I do have enough strength. And I can jump, which is very surprising. But it isn't surprising because it's where we're supposed to go. I cannot go there. Th oh, I can. Wow, she jumps for days. Also, there's that thing. What do we get out of this? Uh, no, that's the torch. And we get a uh, potion of healing. I'm more... I'm partial to a blue sinewy potion of healing rather than a red potion of healing. But red potion of healing it is. Okay, the jumping is pretty straightforward. Climbing. So I wonder if it's always the last character in your party that uh, needs to escape prison. Because if it were our wizard, then it wouldn't have been quite this easy. At least I don't think so. I don't think they have spells for strength. I think there's a spell that adds strength, but I don't actually know how it works. It used to be that it set your strength to 18, but that was back in D&D 2. Also known as Advanced Dungeons and & Dragons. And uh, if you've played Baldur's Gate or Icewind Dale, that's... Oh, that's how you get back here without without the other one. 
Um, if you played Baldur's Gate or Icewind Dales, then that's murder. Such murder. Then that's the rule set that it uses. And it, there was a thing called strength. A spell called strength. Looting and inventory management. Everything you carry affects your weight gauge, so be wary of reaching your weight limit, as this will slow you down a lot. Equipment and light sources must be placed in the appropriate slots before they can be used. Okay. And then we have stackable items. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I do that's more of a, a video game mechanic than than really a, a rule set mechanic, I would say. What is this? One silver piece. That's what it is. Ration pouches. And arrows. We have a lot of stuff in here. When did I get that all that stuff? Acid, magnesium, refined oil, commoner's clothing. Wait. Oh, this had my equipment, is what it had. Fantastic. So I got a spear. Spear is strength based. It should say. Uh I think if it doesn't say finesse, then it, it is strength based. But yeah, inventory weight is um, a bit of a faff, honestly. So, you escaped unscathed. Well done, my friend. My flagon is empty of ale, and Lord Karen still isn't here. Have another ale. It's not like you have anywhere better to be. I have a tale to tell as well. I too was attacked, but I put an end to my enemies with blood and pain. So what are you waiting for? Spit it out, why don't you? Oh. I guess we're gonna have to escape with every character then. Oh. Friends? N no. No friends. Very no low initiative there. We have dashing. I know what it is. It's, uh, it's using your action to move instead of things. Uh, so... Siobhan is a paladin. She has a power, or she has powers. Lay on hand, divine sense, reveals celestial fiends and undead. That, we're not going to need that too much. Neutralize poison and cure disease. So we're not going to need to use those at the moment. We have dodge, which is called dodge. Is it called dodge in d, &D? Apparently it is. And then we have shove. Oh, is that? I thought it was grapple. Do they not have grapple? Yeah, they don't have grapple. It's shove. Which is, you know, works the same way. Now, my concern here is that the starving wolves are very fast. Do we know how fast they are? We do not. Not from here. So what I'm gonna want to do is I want to I'm gonna want to move in and attack. That's pretty straightforward. I trained hard for this. That's good, because you landed a, a roll the twelve. Oh, you need to end the turn automatically? You don't have an... Uh, uh, I wonder if there's an option for that. Oh, there's wolves all over the place. It's a good thing I didn't fall back. Oh, they're fast as well. I think it's 30. Oh, that's a miss. I mean, I do have medium armor. My uh, my armor class is probably like 16 or something. Uh, and then attacking and shoving. Oh, you can shove them off the hill? That'd be kind of cool. I don't... I, I'm not going to do it against this guy. Uh, well, you know what? I am going to do it against this guy. Push away or knock prone. Mm. Let's just attack. These things are nothing. Yeah. There you go. Lucky. Perhaps. You roll the next... Oh, it's the damage roll. So you roll twice to uh, to attack. You roll the uh, to hit chance, which is that one over there. And if you hit, then you roll the damage. So it's two dice rolls. Uh, ideally, it's two dice rolls. And in fact, it's probably even more. because uh, Well, not probably, but it's possibly even more. Because if you crit, then you roll an, a crit confirmation check? I don't know. I never crit. <laughs> it's just when you roll a d20. No, no, crit confirmation was in D&D uh, &D 4. So we're just going to continue attacking here. Very straightforward. Yeah. And Another we're rolling success. really, really good. Really, 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 really well. <sighs> so let's actually look at our character here. Because we can tell. Armor class is 18, which is brutal. It is incredible. It is so good. We have a scroll of revivify. We have a mace. So secondary, I'll put the mace in there. And then we have a candle. And then the other things that don't matter quite as much. That is incredible. But the strength is also giving us the attack rating. 
which is actually dependent. There it is. It's depending dependent on the action. It's not dependent on just the character. It's the plus five to hit on that particular attack, which is a one d eight plus three, and it's plus three because of the plus three to strength. So it's the, the plus five is the proficiency the bonus because we're proficient in this weapon, and the strength bonus. It's quite simple, but uh, it's, it's, I'm I'm very surprised that I'm I'm well, I'm very familiar with the rule set of the ND five, but I think that's where we're supposed to go. But I'm quite surprised that I find it so familiar in in this game because usually you have to learn all the things. And yeah, this way doesn't do anything. Is this a pretty place? This is a pretty place. Yeah, usually you need to learn all the quirks in the game, and then the combat system is all sophisticated and whatnot. This combat system, especially for fighters, it is super simple. Run up to the enemy, and then smack. It's you're seeing. This is just super simple. What the game is telling us things is is the uh, is a oh this is a gray back wolf. My initiative is incredible. Initiative is dexterity. Rangers get advantage, which means you can roll twice and pick the best roll. So, uh, oh, we can't actually attack. We need to disengage. Are we actually grappled or something? Hmm. So disengage, disengaging, basically what it does, the game said that, uh, what it does is that it uh, disables the attack of opportunity that enemies have. Because if you move away from uh, melee range from enemies, oh, I see what you're doing. Uh, I'm not, this is not a bonus action. It is? Oh. I wouldn't. If I were the DM, I wouldn't allow that to be a bonus action. Disengage counts as an action, so unless you have two action points. What a bunch of nambi pambies. You're lucky you weren't attacked by Sorax. Shut your gobble or I'll shut it for you. The Badlands are thick with them, shape-shifting bastards. Go easy on him. He's just a harmless old drunk. Probably saw lizard folk or dragonborn or something. You think I don't know the difference? All those spines on their backs, those jaws. You've never seen anything like it. Not lizard folk, not troglodyte, not dragonborn, I'm telling you. No one believes in Sorax anymore. Except the Church of Anar, of course. There's a Sorak under every bed, if you believe them. Easy now. Don't mock people for their faith. Read them books. Sorax are masters of deception, infiltration. Anyone here could be a Sorak. You'd never know. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'll see. So, anyway. Sorax might be legend, but orcs are quite real, and not just in the Badlands. I stumbled across a secret settlement right here in the Principality. That is preposterous. I traveled here from the east and left the main highway, hoping to save time by traversing the hills. The views were magnificent. But I should have kept my eye on the path, because it gave way beneath my feet, plunging me into a Stygian darkness. Ow! That's going to leave a mark. Lighting and light sources. Actually, this is probably important. You'll explore deep, dark places without natural light sources. It makes exploration come out harder, especially for characters without dark vision. Which I believe... Ariush is human, so they're not they're gonna need to cast spells for for dark vision. <laughs> that kinda sucks. That kinda sucks. We don't have dark vision right now. You can equip torches or cast light spells to reveal your environment to your whole group. That's pretty good. And you can light flammable items like torches on holders by interacting with them while holding it. This is pretty awesome. In um if you have a team of elves and just people with dark vision, which when you're playing DD. You might, because usually you're pl playing with extended rule sets where there's people like Dragonborn and 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 uh, and uh, what's the other one that's really cool, the one with the horns. Dragonborn are also also have horns, but you know the other one that everybody loves. Uh, yeah, the, um, the everybody can see things, and they're like, I can't see anything. And if they forget about you, it's the worst thing. Okay, so I am using a quarter staff, which is a simple weapon. But it's a two-handed weapon, right? Well, a bit of light won't hurt. I think a bit of light won't hurt, indeed. It won't hurt anybody other than me, that is. And we can light the things and make things look pretty. That is really cool. I like that. I love that, in fact. 
it's, it's just satisfying as hell to go through a level and light everything up. Especially if there's puzzles. Uh, must complete what? Must complete the quest objective before opening the door. Yeah, especially if there's puzzles in the room that you're in, which usually there are. Well, I say usually, but, you know, depends on the DM, I suppose. Aw, failed. What a peculiar style of art. Clearly the work of some savage hand. Wow. So we have explored the cave, but we don't know what this is. Well, they don't know what this is. We know. It's the... That other word that I forget. Let me see. F5. What does F5 do? F5 quick saves the game. I love it. Healing. Yes. Oh, I need to heal myself? Oh, I do need to heal myself. We have a pochon. We have another torch. Torch, some arroz. And a ration pouch. Ration pouch. I know how to pronounce all the words. Does this have a last... Uh, have a... Yeah, it does. An hour. That's good enough. That's good enough. And that's one of the reasons, one of the many, many, many reasons why, why real-time games, instead of compressed time games, why, why real-time games are really good. And when I say real-time, I don't mean turn-based in, in that. I mean this time down here, because it's going, you know, it's going to take us literally two episodes of standing around for the torch to go away. And that means I'm not in a rush, which is the worst kind of rush, is the rush of, oh no, an hour is going to pass in two minutes. But no, uh, we're going to need to heal ourselves. Now, Ariash is a wizard, so I can't really do much other than drinking the potion. So, let's drink the potion. Wow, did we just really roll... How did I only heal... Oh, right, because they only have 6 HP. <laughs> They're a wizard, Harry. So, yeah, it's, uh, that's how it goes. Now, I saw something. Did you see something? Because I saw something. I saw a known creature. I don't like a known creature. There they are. Discretion is clearly the better part of valor in this instance. It's cautious mode. Yes. Ooh, ritual. Right, I forgot about rituals. That's the other thing. Uh... D&D really plays around with uh, you just skipping time on especially rituals, but not just rituals, on rests, short rests, and all the things. Things take time to do, and the DM can just say, well, it's going to take half an hour to read this book, and so it does take half an hour to read the book, and it's awesome. Now, what I'm trying to do, though, is I'm not actually sure where to go, because for some reason I think there's a passage this way, but there isn't. Hmm. How do I drop down? Oh, there's a ladder there. That's how I drop down. Uh, they're not very stealthy, though. This is going to be bad. Uh, and so what Ritual does, is it, al it allows you to cast spells without actually spending the spell slot. But it does take 10 minutes plus the... Um, 10 minutes plus the spell level in terms of time. So a level 1 spell takes 11 minutes. I think that's how it works. And a level 10 spell takes 20 minutes. Discretion is the better part part of valor. So what are these unknown creatures? They're definitely aggressive is what they are. They look to be undead of sorts. I don't like that. Nobody likes undead. Apart from necromancers. And in D&D, necromancy is a different thing. Okay, don't show me that. Go, go, go. There's a grub there. What is that? You see that over there? I don't think that's anything. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. But it, there is a thing. Also, I probably should have put my torch out when I did that. Because it's probably very conspicuous to have your torch out while in cautious mode. What do we have? We have Abysmos. Which is like a, a, a cooler way of pronouncing abysm. Abysm. It's the abysmos. Oh no, that's not. It's not great. Go up there. Ooh. Can I actually go up there? No. It's down through here. This place is great. Now what am I doing? I do not know. There's a fireplace down here. 
What is the plan? No other means of egress is apparent. Fine. I shall wait until they go. These creatures do hunt, right? Hopefully they don't hunt for you. So we're going to take a long rest here that takes eight hours. And we can also prepare spells. So the first thing to do is to put this in the backpack. So it should say there that it has 55 minutes. This one has an hour. And they don't stack because that's not how they work. Okay, so that's the torch put out. And uh, yeah, there's some highlights things over there. I think that's a... Uh, yeah, that's, the, that's a hole. You just click over there and you go... Okay, let's look at our sp wizard spells books. I think none of them are prepared. Missing component. Hmm. I don't think... I can't do anything with them. I can't unprepare them. I should have read that tutorial. It should be here, right? That you can prepare and unprepare. But I think I have all of them prepared. It's six. I have six level one spells prepared. And then I have the slots that I... That I uh, cast. Yeah, I have two slots. And I can cast any one of these. Although, there's only five of them. Eh, let's just... It's fine. Oh, because the other one is the Identify. And that one is Mage Armor. But I'm also missing... Uh, whatever isn't required for the Mage Armor. We're going to worry about that later. Let's just take the Long Rest. Uh, which is... F5 and then press R. Nope. It, uh, it's actually clicking there. Okay, so you can't just Long Rest anywhere. You need to look for these things. So when the rest is complete, recover all hit points and half your hit dice maximum. Wait, what? Recover all hit points and half of your... That doesn't make sense. I thought you just recovered... You roll... Uh, I'm, not actually, I'm not actually sure how that works. Uh, but when you recover these... Yeah, it's basically normal because I didn't cast any spells. Long rest complete. You have recovered all hit points and half your hit dice maximum. I don't actually know what that means. And then I can prepare spells from here. And that's what it is. You can only prepare after you rest. Okay. So I can't prepare these. But they're prepared. Yep. Validate. Close. We're good to go. And they're gone. 